AirPods have a problem. The problem is pretty simple. They're unrepairable to a degree that can severely harm the environment. They also have a lightning port when they could have USB-C. But back to the environment. AirPods have a limited lifespan. While repairing individual AirPods would prove to be insanely complicated, the case of the AirPod on the other hand should have some sort of solution. Thankfully, there is one. This is Ken. He developed a method to repair AirPod cases without struggling as much as I did when I attempted to repair them. That really wasn't fun. He reached out to me asking if I would like to try his method of repairing AirPod cases. He also sent me a mod kit to make the AirPods USB-C, which is absolutely insane. Obviously, I couldn't refuse and said yes. If you want to check out his video on how he did this, I'll link that in the video's description. So he sent me this package. Inside the package, we have a 3D printed AirPod housing. His method is to break the old housing since it's near impossible to remove without breaking it. Once the housing is broken, you can replace the battery and then use this housing to replace the broken one. Battery replacements on these are impossible, so this makes it 100 times easier. But this is what I'm most excited for. This is the same connector the AirPods would normally have for the charging port, but at the end we have a USB-C port. Basically, this will make the AirPods USB-C. Apple is going to be making all of their products USB-C next year anyway, so Ken is one step ahead. It's absolutely insane that he made this, I'm not gonna lie. Stop! This is gonna take quite a bit of work, so if you aren't subscribed yet, you should be. Also, hit that like button and smash the bell button. Smash it. Ken was also kind enough to include instructions as to how we should proceed with this battery and charging port replacement. We first have to remove the plastic housing of the AirPod case. To do that, we need to pull out our Dremel. You could do this by hand, but a Dremel should speed things up and lead to a much cleaner result. The instruction manual he provided is actually pretty thorough. Ken has also decided to make this 3D print open source, meaning any of you can do this, assuming you have access to a 3D printer. To do this, we'll need our Dremel, gloves, because, you know, safety and that, glasses, because safety as well. We'll put our gloves on. I don't want you guys to get used to this, because I, I don't like wearing gloves, but today I have to, so my hand doesn't get chopped off. We'll pull the AirPods out of the case and clamp them down. Clap them down. Okay, maybe not. Relax, Apple Watch. I got this. We'll start cutting into the AirPod case. This is actually really satisfying. We want to make sure that we aren't going too deep, otherwise the AirPods will be dead. This is making a big mess. It's currently snowing AirPod powder. So the AirPod case is now separated all around. It's time to pry the case apart, reveal the internals, and make this thing USB-C. I'll also make it more repairable and replace the case battery, but uh, like USB-C, that, that's crazy. Now that we have the case split apart with our Dremel, we have to pry these two pieces apart. We'll be using this metal tool to wedge them apart. It's really important to be careful here because there are some flex cables underneath and ripping one would be not, not good. Oh, it's actually coming off really easy-ish. My Apple Watch doesn't like that at all though. Shut up, Apple Watch. Okay, so we got one half off, kind of cracked open like an egg.
The second half came off pretty easily as well. So the AirPod button is actually attached to the housing of the AirPods. See, this is why I don't wear gloves. Luckily, you can just remove the button as it's attached via those contact pins. That's actually pretty cool. I've never seen the internals of AirPods like this before. Almost feels forbidden. So we have the AirPods apart. We've split its housing in half and have all the internals exposed, but we still have to remove that plastic lid, which apparently is actually quite difficult. So we're gonna have to find out. So according to Ken, this adhesive around the lid is really, really strong. There's also a flex cable underneath that's extremely delicate, so this might prove to be pretty difficult. Nowhere near as difficult as the other method though. There's no chance. Yeah, so this is, is really tough. I've been prying for about 10 minutes now and it's just not budging. We're gonna have to do something I never thought I would do. Cook the AirPods. While the AirPods are cooking, I'm curious, would you guys ever attempt a repair like this? The batteries are so cheap, I'm talking like $2. But it's practically all labor. The AirPods are done cooking. We'll continue to pry with our metal tool. <laughs> I think we need to pull out the big guns. At this point, Apple probably has a secret plug for glue. What even is this? Where do they get this stuff? Who's the guy? I want his number, now. Finally! Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, god damn it. But we messed up. It turns out I ripped the flex cable. I could have easily avoided that, but I was just being impatient. I'll have to do all these steps again with a different AirPod case and just skip to the part where the lid's off. Keep in mind, this is just a result of me being impatient. If you're patient, you can definitely do this without ripping that flex cable. And we're back. Now for the fun part. So the lids connector is under this bracket. We'll hit it with a unscrew. Now we can disconnect the lid and fully remove it. Since we have the lid removed, it's time to focus on the battery and the charging port. We'll start off by removing the battery. All we really need to do is wedge a gap between the battery and the AirPod case, and then just disconnect it and remove it. Sounds simple, but it takes a lot of patience. This is way easier than the first method though, because with that method, you could barely see what you were doing. We'll remove the battery. And we can stick some tweezers in there and pull out that flex cable. So this is our tiny AirPod battery. It's so small. Don't comment what you're gonna comment. Just, just don't do it. We're going to unscrew the charging port here as well. It's held in by two Phillips screws that apparently refused to come out. The tweezers got me though. Oh, or not. It's okay, I, I, I found the screw. There's uh, two more screws on the bottom. We'll hit this with a unscrew. Now we have access to our charging port. Both our charging port and battery are removed. It's time for the replacement and the USB-C mod. That's AirPod case powder. I swear it's not what it looks like. Huh? 
We'll pull out Ken's epic mod. He even printed his name on it. That's a pretty big flex. Doing something like this takes an insane amount of time and skill. So kudos to you, Ken. I don't even know how you did this. Now we can screw it back in. This looks so wrong, but also so right. I mean, Apple switching to USB-C anyway, why not do it now? Okay, we have the USB-C mod installed. It's time to replace that battery. All it takes is a little adhesive and connecting it back to the board. It's really hard to properly position it, but I got it. We'll apply the adhesive to the battery. and slide that in there. Look at that. The AirPods are now USB-C and have a brand new battery. We're not done yet though. There's still some work to do and we have to also test this to make sure everything works properly. Ken sent me three of these cases, two of which have my logo on them. Thanks, Ken. So the button goes on quite easily. You just have to click it in and then position it and it's good to go. It's time to get that lid back on. The flex cables slide underneath here. We'll reconnect it. And now we can slide the lid back in. Get that crunch. Or not. So the LED is on. You can see the AirPod case is still working. Now we'll slide the 3D printed housing on. It seems okay and also looks really cool. We'll try to plug in our USB-C cable and here's where we ran into a bit of a problem. The port for the USB-C on the housing was ever so slightly off, which means the AirPods weren't charging. So let's try to remove it. Oh. Bruh. All right, Peter boy. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> it's time to try another one. We broke the case. Thankfully, we have two more. Should be okay. So this time, we're not gonna make the same mistake again. We gotta expand that hole so the USB-C cord can fit. Using a Dremel, we'll just shave off a bit of the edges. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll definitely do the job. Now we can reinstall the AirPod case. Takes a bit of force to actually get the case on. We'll try our USB-C charger. And the case is actually charging. So, we're good to go. Maybe? Oh. Bruh, I have the worst luck. So, I, I skipped over it, but I did the process all over again with the third one, and thank god this one worked flawlessly. The USB-C cable fits right in there. It charges the AirPod case and the AirPods. This is currently the only solution to replace AirPod case batteries with ease. And honestly, if your AirPod case is not holding any charge, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't try this yourself. If you have access to a 3D printer, it really wouldn't be that hard. Ken is also thinking about selling both the USB-C mod and the housing as a kit, which I think you guys should encourage him to do. I'll link his channel in the description. If you think this is a little bit too advanced for you, please recycle your old AirPods. AirPods are widely used and unfortunately have a very limited lifespan. Apple truly needs to find a solution to make these repairable as not everyone has access to their recycling program. I'm going to work hard to provide this service for my millions in the 
near future. But for now, please do not throw your AirPods away. That's a no-go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and check out my other videos while you're here. You won't regret it. I hope.